Want to learn how to take down people in a matter of seconds? Stay tuned and continue watching this video as we break down this clip. Yo, 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 what's up? You're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day. And today we're going to be breaking down this clip real quick just to give you an idea of what you could be doing or what to be looking for when playing the game. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on centering, and we're going to be talking about how I'm able to take down the guys that you just saw right before this in a matter of seconds with a C-58. Now, this can be done with pretty much any gun as well, but the C-58 being as overpowered as it is right now just adds to it, right? So, as you can see in the video, I have footsteps, so I was chasing a guy up here, uh, and I popped a dead silence. It's about to run out. Uh, and I'm pretty sure these were the guys that had the bounty on me. Uh, I can pretty much assume that because I can see that my threat level is up. So I'm taking the fight to them. Now, I did not know that there was another guy at the time. But I'm chasing this guy up the steps. And notice every time that I go up, and we're going to rewind that real quick. Every time that I go up, look where my, my centering is, right? I'm already looking up. Centering is the most important thing you can do for your aim. This is exactly how you improve your aim. It's by keeping the crosshairs, like you see right here, keeping that point in where you think that the person is going to be, and not specifically just where they're going to be, but uh, roughly around their, their upper body area, like their chest or their head, because if you hit the headshot or chest shots, you know it's going to be doing more damage. And as you can see, as soon as I come up, I'm, I'm constantly adjusting it, right? See, I'm coming around, I'm adjusting it, and I'm getting ready, and I, I can hear him, right? So I'm sound horn. I can hear that I'm getting close to him, and I'm just getting ready for the gunfight for when it does come. And he goes to the door, but now I'm listening. So this is the next thing you can do. Uh, it's not particularly just for your aim, but it will help you make sure that you're ready so your aim can be on point is the headset. I can hear that he's running closer to me. As soon as he comes to the door, I, I just throw some shots. Uh, he immediately peeks back. Again, look look exactly where my cursor is. We're going to back that up just one more second again. Right there. As you can see, it is currently at his, his upper chest area. That's like the lower chest area. But nonetheless, as soon as I take my shots on him, he's quickly cracked. I've lost half of a plate. Now I'm completely cracked. His buddy switches off with him and steps a little bit further back, making it where I'm actually upper chest. Uh, actually, his buddy goes down. I just now realized that. So all i got to do is finish one. But he peeks around the corner throwing a grenade. He starts the animation as he peeks around the corner. He should have already started the animation, like pulling a grenade back, pressing the button, holding it before ever stepping around the corner because now he's completely exposed, right? I'm already pre-firing, uh, not just pre-aiming but i'm pre-firing because i'm trying to kill his other buddy and his teammate steps around and it's quickly down as you can see right there and i get double kill double collateral yo if you enjoyed the video i asked you please hit the like button it really does help out a lot also check out either the video i just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist and i will see you guys in the next one peace and love